Clip envelopes are a powerful tool which allow live users to embed time-based device or plug-in parameter modulations within an audio or MIDI clip. However, people might easily mistake clip envelopes for clip automation. This is understandable, since at first glance it would appear as if there is little difference between creating a clip envelope and creating clip automation. Both of these processes create a user-defined change in a parameter over a specified period of time. But there are a few key differences, and those differences are what give clip envelopes their unique power. Automation breakpoints and envelopes, such as the ones you would create within a clip in session view, are defined values tied to a fixed moment of time. For example, in this clip, I've chosen to automate the frequency parameter of an instance of auto filter so that it moves from low to high over the span of two measures. All points on this automation envelope are absolute values, meaning that the automated parameter, again, in this case frequency, will strictly adhere to the values indicated by this line. Once this automation has been written, the device control will not be able to be changed during that time period. unless you override the data. At this point, it would just stay in the last input value until I rewrite or re-enable that automation. Clip envelopes don't behave in exactly the same way. Like automation envelopes, a parameter is altered over a period of time, but clip envelopes output relative values, not absolute ones. Clip envelopes modulate or change the device control over a user-specified range. This clip has the same envelope, but it's controlling a clip envelope instead of an automation envelope. The result sounds the same. But it's not forcing a defined value like automation would, and therefore the device control can still be freely manipulated to enable further variations. Listen as I change the frequency value. No matter what I change this value to, the sweeping motion is still occurring, but over a different range. Making these changes doesn't override the envelope. It may seem like a subtle difference with limited applications, but I find that the ability to continually alter a device control while maintaining a predetermined parameter change effect affords users additional layers of control and flexibility not offered by traditional automation. In the next video, I will demonstrate this process and provide practical examples to employ in your live projects.